Hey guys, I'm Georgie and this is MTV News. Selena Gomez is living her best bikini life after revealing she's finished with her album, which is great news for anyone with ears and or eyes. In a live stream on her friend Connor Franklin's account, she said, I am done with it and that it is coming out later, which is very vague given that technically later could mean later this week or it could mean later this century. More details of the album are similarly vague, but in May she told Zane Lowe, I have so many exciting things coming. It just feels like it's my time and it's my pace. I'm not trying to throw a bunch of music in people's faces until I'm ready. She also mentioned that she's working with writers including Justin Tranta and Julia Michaels saying I had this instant soul connection with them. There's some of the people behind Bad Liar and Hands to Myself which are arguably the best songs that Selena Gomez has ever released. So get excited about the ambiguous later when Selena's album is finally here. Maybe stay tuned to her Instagram where hopefully she'll drop more news soon or if not just more hot pics of her chilling on a beach. What do we want? The news! When do we want it? MTVs! Close enough. Okay everybody, clear your calendars, find Chloe Ferry and pin her down because there's a Nugget Festival coming to the UK. Oh my god, it's Chloe! I said pin her down! Pin her down everybody! Oh my god! She's gone! Listen to this and listen carefully. After years of hiding in the shadows, the humble late night snack is finally going to be given its time in the spotlight with its very own festival. When I say nug, you say it. Nug. I don't blame you. There are two dates confirmed thus far. One in London on the 24th of August and another one in Manchester on the 22nd of September. But hold on to your barbecue sauce because there's apparently an extra 13 dates and locations yet to be announced. Hopefully they'll be in classic nugget spots like the pavement or back at your mate's house at 2am or crushed in your pocket the morning after. Mmm pocket chicken. The first night will take place in Inferno's nightclub in Clapham and will feature live music, a giant inflatable nugget and nugget themed photo ops. That actually sounds like sick and it will probably smell like sick too. So if you're a nugget fan it's time to go crazy. Oh my god it's Chloe again not that crazy not that crazy Chloe. If you're Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas, every day must be perfect. You're young, rich, engaged. Uh, dude, there's a picture of her here really upset. But here's the rub. This whole scenario is perfectly healthy and normal, except for one thing. The camera pointing right in her face. We've literally all done both of these moves before. Either the classic sob and walk. <laughs> That's just bloody hate. Or my favorite, the uncomfortable arm around the shoulder and stare straight ahead. Just act like it's not happening. There you go. If I don't look at it, it'll go away. You're probably now thinking it's hypocritical of me because I'm drawing attention to it too. But what I'd love to remind everybody of is that this is a totally acceptable scene. Nobody is expected to be up all of the time and perfect couples cry in public as well. Everybody, there's their big secret. So by all means, show your love and support, but no less than that. Besides, there's probably a very good reason for her outburst. Later on, she tweeted, lol, thank God I have a loving fiance. Periods are a <clears throat> well, as I said, a very good reason. Well, that's all for this week. I've been Zach Fox and this has been Next, Next week. week. Not good enough.